I am so livid after this weekend. Hey there saplings, my name is Danny, and welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today I just need to get some things off my chest really quick and I don't think I'm alone. This weekend, if you're in the US, you know about the shit show that is our Supreme Court and all that went down with Dr. Ford's testimony and hearings and FBI investigations and, and all of that. And it makes me so angry that we are living in a country where sexual assaults and abuse allegations are treated this way, where we dismiss the victim, where we, um, you know, glorify and worry about the reputation of the abuser, and then we we no longer have this like base minimum of decency for political office. Um, yeah, so frustrating, and I. No, I have very few illusions about politics in our government. I recognize that it is a game, it is a system, it is one that has really deep roots about who gets power and who doesn't get power. And I know that progress is slow and it takes a lot of time and effort. And often that effort is on our minority groups and on the people seeking for justice. I get that. I'm willing to fight for that, but I miss the days where at least in this game and in this system, we at least pretended that decency was a requirement. At least we pretended that we needed people who were unbiased and respectable on our Supreme Court. I am just so angry that someone was accused of sexual abuse and then the party that nominated him, the Republicans refused to make him step back and take back his nomination. Like any other time that would have happened. And I know this has to do with the fact that we have a president who himself has admitted to sexual harassment and yet we still elected him to office and like, ugh. I, I don't understand why my body as a woman is suddenly, I guess not suddenly, why it is still a political minefield. Why do we still have this desire to make abortion illegal, take Road versus Wade and remove it from our system? And that, that goal is so overwhelming that we can put someone who's ethical character is in question on the Supreme Court. Ugh. And you know, I try to be connected and aware and, and tend towards the more optimistic side of things and like working for change. But right now, the urge to, to just curse the motherfucker is really strong. And I don't, I don't usually do that in my practice, but I am seriously thinking about it. You know, I, uh, maybe it's because we're going into the dark half of the year, but I've really felt an urge to be a little bit more persistent and direct with a lot of my magical workings. And I, I think that this weekend has really <laughs> made that desire even stronger. And yet I don't have time to do the type of magic that I would like for this change. So yeah, I hope that whatever you're doing to cope with this just tragedy in our political system, that uh, it's bringing you some peace. And if you are feeling the rage like I am, please let me know in the comments because I could use a little pick me up. <laughs> it's really stressful at work right now too. There are like a million things that have to get done right now. And I did not do enough prep work. It's still a new job. 
I didn't quite understand how intense October, November, and December would be, and things will totally work out, but you like top that off with all of the harvest needing to come in from the farm and like getting ready for winter. I don't even have hay ordered. And then this, this like political system where I want to have a lot of positive energy going into the midterms and being like, fuck yeah, we're going to bring more progressives onto the court. We're going to make that change. We're going to take back what we've lost. And then they do this and it just, oh, it's really hard to find action for me past all of the rage. And I'm just so tired of it. Like, I, I want to be a woman in this country and not feel like I am a second class citizen and that somehow these old white dudes have a say over my body and they get to perpetuate the systems that make abuse and harassment happen all the time and for it to be okay. And like, this is shitty. Thanks for bearing with me in this ranty video. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. Uh, we'll see. If I'm still feeling really cranky, maybe, maybe it'll go up. I hope things are well with you. I am sending all the love I can muster to the awesome people in the world who, you know, feel the same way, who are struggling the same way. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. As always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. Uh -huh.